Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. From fish that shoot their prey, to seagulls eating rabbits, from tiger sharks eating chicks, to saltwater crocodiles tearing apart animals, here are the most badass ocean creatures that eat land animals as if there was less for them in the water. Archerfish. The evolution of this fish is incredibly great. They have transformed from an average generic fish to a hunter fully capable of taking down its prey with its own unique weapons. Do you know how it hunts its food? By shooting the prey straight into their bodies. Archer fish mostly prey on insects that live in trees and on branches. For a creature that lives deep in water, this kind of food hunting is not considered most efficient, but an archer fish shoots an aggressive stream of water at its prey, and the stream works like a bullet that hits the target all at once. The insect falls from its branch into the water and right into the archer fish's belly. This is a surprisingly advanced weapon for a predator considering its teeny tiny size. Catfish eating pigeons. Catfish are ferocious predators that get their name for the long, sensitive whiskers on their upper jaws, and those whiskers erect when they are hunting pigeons. Various samples taken from catfish guts and camera recordings show them eating three main animals, pigeons, crayfish, and smaller fish. The pigeons land near the banks of rivers to quench their thirst, but the reason they die easily at the hands of catfish is the inherent fearlessness that leads them to their death. Look here in slow motion, how this badass fish is stealthy after a pigeon, and whoop, it's in its mouth. The pigeon saw the fish approaching and still did not fly away. I mean, just imagine being able to fly but getting murked by a fish that can't even see properly. Catfish can grow up to four meters in length and weigh up to 880 pounds, which makes them truly monstrous. And aside from eating pigeons, primarily, they also dine upon annelid worms, insects, gastropods, crustaceans, other fish, frogs, mice, rats, and aquatic birds such as ducks. Seagull eating rabbit. This entry is going to be the most shocking thing you're gonna watch today. In an extremely viral clip, you can see a great black-backed seagull pulling out a rabbit from its hole and immediately bite onto its head. A few seconds later, it lifts the animal and chokes it down the throat hole. The video shocked everyone who saw it on various social media platforms. After the seagull ate him whole, it looked a little wobbly but soon recovered. To reassure the people, experts on Skomer Island said that rabbits are an important part of a seagull's diet. The great black-backed gull is the largest member of the gull family, and rabbits are an important part of its diet, she said, especially, quote, when none or very few small seabirds or seabird chicks are available. Octopus eating bird. Octopi are generalist predators, which means that they would go after anything that is nearby and edible. They often seek out whatever they find, and they're quite wide in their prey choice. While here in our entry, we are particularly talking about a seagull that was attacked by an octopus. Once an octopus gets an upper hand, it injects venom in the prey through its razor-sharp beak to paralyze the prey. The clip shows that despite the bird trying its best to flee, the octopus had a strong grip. That's its hunting strategy. The octopus grab their prey with their arms that also come with 2,000 suction cups for extra grip. Then it will bite the prey with its beak, a hard, parrot-like part of its mouth, injecting toxins that both paralyze the prey and begin to digest the flesh. In minutes, the food is ready to be served. From its hunting strategy, I just remembered an epic battle between an octopus and a crab near a shoreline on the sand. The coconut octopus suddenly attacked a crab that was consumed in the sand. The crab was completely helpless because of the tentacles of the octopus. The octopus used its beak to inject poison between the crab's carapace and back leg. The poison gradually weakened the crab within minutes. It offered no further resistance to the octopus that dragged the crab and started eating it. It used its beak to tear off the crab's legs and sucked its flesh out to eat it. In the end, only the shell remained of the huge crab. 
Saltwater Crocodile Eats Kangaroo Saltwater crocodiles are opportunistic hunters that prey on a variety of species, from crabs and fish to birds, turtles, pigs, buffalo, kangaroo, and even humans. This entry, however, is about kangaroos, in which a crocodile ambushed a mother kangaroo and ate its baby. Saltwater crocodiles are true hunter killers. You know, the ones that do not only kill animals for food. Sometimes they play with animals and also kill for pleasure and dominance. They often use the dead bodies of their hunts as trophies and guard them. Tiger Shark Eating Albatross Chicks Every June, tiger sharks appear in the shallow waters in huge numbers. They travel hundreds of kilometers for an event that lasts less than two weeks. Want to have a guess? Well, with impeccable timing, they came here to hunt albatross chicks who are learning to fly from a small island in Hawaii. The problem is the island's runway is a bit short, which means the maiden flight of chicks often ends up in a wet landing. The sharks are there to feast upon them. Using their highly acute senses, within a few moments of touchdown, the chick is in its mouth. The marine experts give scientific confirmation that the voracious predators regularly eat land-based birds, and it is now known as a fact that adult tiger sharks do prey on young albatrosses. Silver Arowana This fish does not have superpowers like archerfish, but it does have an extremely agile body, with which it jumps out of the water to catch insects and worms as its food. This is the flying fish of Brazil, known as Silver Arowana. The flooded forest brings the arowana fish closer to the treetops where its prey lives. It jumps out of the water to capture its prey while swimming near the water surface. Having a rather snake-like swim, arowana is known to eat crustaceans, insects, small fish, and other animals that float on the water surface. Some reported cases have claimed that they've been seen to eat rabbits and snakes. Coconut Crabs This crab is the largest crustacean on the planet Earth, being up to three feet across. They are known to eat a lot, and a group of crabs can devour an animal in no time. Look here, the time lapse of a pig carcass being eaten by coconut crabs. The animal was gone like it never existed. Well, this entry is about a coconut crab that was filmed hunting a bird. The crab inched towards a red-footed booby, which is a common seabird. It was sleeping in a nest near the ground. The crab lunged with a claw, pinching and breaking the bone in one of the bird's wings. After the first attack, the crab slowly descended and followed the wounded bird, breaking the other wing with its claws. Meanwhile, five more coconut crabs joined the attack and proceeded to tear the bird apart and eat it. Koi fish. It is most famous for its beautiful colors that have been created by selective breeding. There are more than 20 varieties of koi fish that differ in color, patterns, and types of scales, but this fish is as badass as it is beautiful. It is found in ponds and streams, where it's been known to eat birds and ducklings. Look, here's a duck family enjoying a swim along with the mother duck. Everything was fine until koi fish came and ate one of the ducklings. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows? We might even feature it in one of our videos. The subscriber's pick. The subscriber's pick points towards a rather strange, common yet unknown predatory link between a killer whale and a moose. Okay, listen, we all know that orcas are carnivores that feed exclusively on marine animals. The four inch long conical set of 40 to 56 teeth make them the most feared and invincible predators in the ocean. Now, in summers, moose prefer to feed on aquatic vegetation, and this search for food makes them vulnerable to attacks by many marine predators, one of them being killer whales. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos.
Thank you once again.